Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to do this video. This is going to be my bridesmaid proposal box video. So I'm getting all five of my bridesmaids like boxes that are just absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you guys in a second. And I'm going to put random little treats and things in there to ask them to be my bridesmaids. So I'm so excited to start asking these girls. And I'm also so excited just to put these together and show you guys what I have came up with. As always, well, lately at least, I'm gonna go ahead and link my wedding series down below for you guys so that you can see my wedding planning journey thus far. My wedding is a little bit over a year away. It's gonna be on October 24th, 2020. And so I figured, you know, this fall, I'll go ahead and start asking my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. So basically, like, next time I see each of them, I'm gonna go ahead and ask them. So I am so excited to go ahead and get started. Jack has already went ahead and asked his first groomsman. He's gonna ask his second one like next week and then you know basically every time he sees one he's gonna go ahead and ask them. So I figured why not go ahead and get my stuff together as well and Jack's like oh my gosh you're so extra with these little boxes but I am like so excited. <laughs> I'm really sorry if you guys can hear my dryer in the background by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and link everything down below for you guys because I know that you guys are gonna ask. So these are the boxes that I got. I got five of them because I will have five bridesmaids and they just say, will you be my bridesmaid in rose gold? I don't know if you can really tell that it's rose gold, but very pretty. It is like kind of iridescent. I don't know. There you go. You can kind of tell. Um, and I love that they're white. I absolutely love white. White is like one of my favorite colors. And they also have one that says, will you be my maid of honor? But I think these five boxes were about 15 bucks or so. And the maid of honor one was like 15 bucks. And I was like, I'm not paying literally 15 bucks for a box. And my maid of honor would kill me if I did that because she's always all about like getting good deals. So for hers, <laughs> this is what I did. Like five of the boxes came in a pack anyway. And I figured why well, put the last one to waste? I might as well just go ahead and use it and just cross it out and see. She's actually gonna be my matron of honor. Um, but basically everything you find s says maid of honor, but she's getting married next month. I'm her maid of honor. And so she's going to be my matron of honor technically since she's married. So I did that. Um, I did get a tote for her. I'll show you guys in a second. So I could have put her stuff in there, but I didn't want that box to go to waste. So I went ahead and just did that for her. And I thought like, she'd probably think that's funny. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys inside. These boxes are seriously made so nice and beautifully. Um, they're really easy to fold up. So they're like magnetic and then you just open them. The only thing I don't like is that as you can see it like comes apart there and there. So I am going to have to tape them. Ugh, which is annoying but whatever. I'll go ahead and link this confetti stuff down below too. I only had to get one bag and I just went ahead and spread it out throughout my boxes. And hopefully everything that I got will fit in there. So these are the things that I got. And I will link what I can down below. So I got this. I can't tie the knot without you bracelet and there's like gold and rose gold probably silver um, so I went ahead and got rose gold because we're gonna have touches of rose gold for our wedding I also went ahead and got this from Target it's OPI bubble bath it's one of my absolute favorite nail polish colors so I just thought that'd be a cool little treat for my bridesmaids to each get I did get some ring pops for my maid of honor's bridal shower coming up and I figured why not go ahead and stick these in there as long as there's room. I thought that was cute because it's like I'm popping the question to them. And our wedding is in the fall so I went ahead and got this DW home candle from TJ Maxx in vanilla pumpkin and it smells so good our wedding is going to be more like neutral fall decor like a lot of white pumpkins and stuff like that so i figured why not go ahead and get this one as opposed to like an orange candle because it's going to be more um neutral fall decor and then the last thing that i got i saw these at target they're the say yes to great free brightening vitamin c glow boosting unicorn paper mask so i just thought this would be something cool for each of my bridesmaids to do to kind of like pamper themselves one night whenever they want and if it's shiny like this like it is on this cartoon girl it's gonna be pretty cool and I might have to get myself one so I figured that would be cool to get them so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff in the box and then I will show you guys when I'm done what it looks like 
All right, so this is how everything turned out. I think it looks so cute. So you've got the bracelet, the candle, the ring pop, the mask, and the nail polish. Maybe I'll move that over a little bit, actually. So everything fit, like, literally perfectly. I figured if there was any space, I would put, like, a little wine bottle or something. But I feel like everything fit absolutely perfect in here. I did go ahead and tape the sides of, you know, the front and the back. And now it's, like, great and it's absolutely perfect. I wish they didn't have to tape it, but... Oh well, I did let the boxes sit up for a few days and they still just would not form to the sides there. So I did have to end up taping them, so keep that in mind. But nonetheless, I do think these are beautiful boxes. Basically, when my bridesmaids open these, this is what they're going to see. I just think it looks so cute. So I am so excited to give these to them. So these are the other things that I got my maid of honor. Um, I got her this maid of honor hat from Target a few months back when I saw it. And I also got her this card that says, will you be my maid of honor, which I already have it written on there, like I said, but oh well, this was like three bucks or something. I just thought it was super cute. It might've only been one buck actually, I don't know. And then I saw this at TJ Maxx. It just says maid of honor. I thought that this would be really cool. Um, I think I am gonna get all the girls tote bags for like the day of the wedding to put their stuff in, but when I saw this, I just thought it was really cool because I think it was only like five or six bucks and I figured she could just use this for, you know, whatever, for the wedding um, or to put like things in to bring to the shower that she needs to bring, like decor and stuff. I don't know. I just thought it was cool and it was only a few bucks, so why not? So I am so excited to give all of these things to my girls. They're going to like freak out. <laughs> so yeah, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love how the boxes turned out. Make sure that you guys check out all the rest of my wedding planning videos down below and also go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Go ahead and like this video and also subscribe. I would appreciate it so much if you subscribe so that you guys can see future videos and also go ahead and hit the bell next to the subscription button and then that way you guys can get notified anytime I post a new video so that you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.